Innovation is Everywhere, we help corporates understand innovation trends and engage in the startup world in a meaningful way. To better understand how disruption is happening today, we have scanned the top 50 tech accelerators in the world and due diligence to more than 400 startups, looking at their business models, technology, and the industries they intend to revolutionize. The general conclusions we came across are 65% of top-ranked accelerators were launched in North America, 25% in Europe, and only 5% in Asia. 80% of them were launched between 2010 and 2013. Surprisingly, traditional business models like products and services sales stay dominant, despite the digital revolution. IoT, VR, AR, blockchain and machine learning technologies are not used a lot yet by the latest startups. Those conclusions are based on the analysis of two types of accelerators, major generalist accelerators and corporate accelerators. The industries that startups disrupt the most are IT, health tech, fintech, retail and transport. Let's have a closer look at each one of them. IT startups mostly offer business services solutions, communication solutions and individual service solutions. Health tech startups offer personal or medical devices as their main products. Fintech startups mainly disrupt payments, individual and SME financial services. In the retail sector, we found two types of startup solutions, e-commerce platforms and services to merchants. Mobicon is a good example of a retail startup disrupting the industry. All this data that's been captured over, over a period of time can be monetized by virtue of having multiple marketing modules which helps automate the whole marketing process and bring the customers back. Parking, car sharing and smart car solutions are the main subtrends in the transport sector. Chariot is another example of startup disrupting its industry. We founded Chariot because we saw the need for an alternative form of transportation that is easy, affordable, safe and importantly, takes cars of our increasingly congested roads. The top three industries in which corporate companies are launching accelerators today are technology, financial services and media. IT companies like Intel, IBM, Yahoo, Cisco and Microsoft see the need to renew their businesses by launching corporate accelerators as they are taken over by Facebook and Amazon, for example. Accelerators launched by banking and payment companies like DBS, PNB Paribas, MasterCard or Pitney Bowes only have half of their startups in fintech. They also tend to digitalize their businesses by bringing in new B2B solutions. Media companies like BBC, SPH, DPA or Walt Disney either want to strengthen their capabilities in the field or recycle their quality content. The analysis of worldwide accelerators and startups reinforced the fact that hubspots of innovation are in different industries and different locations across the world.